Alright, welcome back to Pinball Help. I'm Mike, and here I am with a Williams Whitewater machine. It's been giving me a little bit of trouble with one part, so I thought I'd do a little bit of maintenance, turn the camera on, show you what I'm doing. My situation is, what we have here is a solenoid that kicks the ball from the trough into play or into this little holding area. By the way, before I even do that, you see these lights, these little cheapy lights? They're great. You can get them at Walmart for like, I don't know, 17 cents or something like that, you know. And uh, stick a bulb in them, they clamp, around, clamp on things. They're just super wonderfully useful for these kinds of projects. So, uh, another one of those little pinball tool niceties. So, I've been having a problem when the ball falls into the trough and it, gets, it needs to get kicked and this thing kicks the ball in, but sometimes it, it's sluggish and it kicks it and it bounces back out. It's just not working right. So I took the skirt off and I'm looking at the solenoid and you see how it doesn't snap back real slowly? It kind of it's just sluggish like that. That's not good. So we're going we're gonna to fix that. And uh, this involves removing this coil stop here and taking the coil apart. So let me zoom in on that. Get you a little more, a little closer up there. Doom, 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 doom. I could probably go faster, but okay. Um, what we have here is an electromagnet. This is a solenoid. There's a little piston. When this thing's energized, it pulls this thing in, which works this little swivel here, which kicks the thing in. What we've got is we've got some gunk crapped up here in this little pivot point. Um, this is very common. Some people oil these things, which you're not supposed to. All these moving parts are not supposed to have any lubrication on them. Uh, the lubrication, all that does is attract dust and dirt. So what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew these two nuts, two bolts, two screws, they're kind of bolty, and we're going to remove this coil stop. Now, it's always helpful to have like a little magnetic um, jar, little magnetic part holder. So we pull that out. We're going to, first thing we're going to do is take a look at the stop. This is supposed to be nice and smooth, not mushroomed in or anything. It's, in, it's not in bad shape at all. This is slightly magnetic to keep this thing from chattering. Some of the older games um, would create kind of noisy, chattery things. So this, the coil stop is not in bad shape. We don't need to replace that. So we'll remove the coil. And inside this, there's this little plastic piece right here. This is the coil sleeve. Usually you want to replace this little plastic piece. Um, in this case, I'm not going to replace it. I'm just going to clean it and put it back because it's in good shape. But uh, if it was really a serious issue, and sometimes these things get stuck in there, if the coil heats up, and then here's our piston. Now really where the real problem is is right here. So we need to undo this thing and take this little assembly apart. So a couple of ways of doing that. You can use a little pair of pliers and you can, you can turn this thing sideways and you can do it like that. Since we've got the little little indentation there, we can literally grab it and pull it off like that. So there's our little pin. And you can see it's it's got some grease on it. Somebody greased it. So we're going to clean that part. And we're going to try to get this little assembly up. Looks like we're going to have to remove one of these springs. Whenever you undo these springs, it's always you always want to be careful. Use a nice little pair of needle nose pliers. Try not to bend the spring out of shape when you do it. There we go. And then this comes up like that and out. And you want to examine all these parts to make sure that they're okay. And this thing is just a little difficult to get 
it out because of, because of these pieces here. I really don't want to have to take the whole assembly apart, so I'm going to, there we go. So this is what's all crudded up right in here. So I'm going to clean this and I'm going to clean this. And uh, what you should, I mean, look at that. It's like somebody, somebody did lubricate it. I would not, I don't know why you would do that, but it looks like there's lubrication in there. Almost looks like it came from the factory like that. It's not a good idea. So you get yourself some rubbing alcohol, the higher percentage the better. And I like to use these little cosmetic pads. They're also good for removing makeup for those special times when you need makeup, I guess. And we'll just run this over this and get it all nice and clean. Now what about this inside thing, you, you ask? That's where you use like a Q-tip. You're in the Q-tip on the inside. And look at all that crud that comes out. The infamous black dust, which is just like metallic metal powder and all kinds of other fragments of everything that's been bouncing around in the pinball game. So we'll, we'll clean that out nice and good. Go over the whole thing. I'm removing all this lubricant. I don't think there should be any kind of grease in there. I don't know what that grease was doing in there. This should be just metal on metal and it should be really smooth. I uh, never ever oil a pinball machine. I mean there's certain exceptions in certain areas usually with old electromechanical machines but with these modern games all the moving parts should be metal on metal. It should be nice and smooth like that. And then I'll do the same thing with the piston. Make sure I find a little clean spot and I'll just clean that and, and inspect it to notice to see if there's any any abrasions or any scarring and make sure this is nice and smooth and doesn't there's no play in there. That looks pretty good. And uh, I will usually you want to just replace these coil stops. But um, I prefer to kind of recycle them unless they're really in bad shape. If it's nice and smooth, I mean, maybe in a flipper, I might replace the whole thing. But, see, and I'm, I'm going to kind of use this like a, what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll really pull it up like that. Push it through kind of clean the inside. And remember, this is just soaked with alcohol. That's all. And if I if this doesn't really clean it well, then I will definitely replace it. But I didn't have a problem. The things the thing seemed to work nicely, so I'm just going to clean it. If I have any I, I you know, if you've got the extra sleeves, just replace it. Um, and you look down it, make sure it's nice and smooth, and there's no nothing weird in there, no striations. And, uh, take your little thing. That's nice and smooth. Now another thing I like to do is I use this silicone spray lubricant. Now I know what I just said, which was um, never lubricate your machine. Right. This is really like a dry lubricant. I, what I do is I spray it and then wipe it off. So I'll take, I'll take a little bit and I'll just spray it onto a pad. And uh, I'll spray it on and it'll, it'll dry. And some people we we'll say, don't do that, don't do that. But this is not 
this is not actually leaving any liquid there. I'm kind of almost coating it with a little coating of silicone and uh, then letting it dry. And um, I'll do this with all the little parts in the game. In this case, I'll take this and just go oh, spray it all over me. Take the Q-tip. And clean, 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 clean. Let's see, let me find a paper towel. Is this exciting or what? Okay, we'll return back in a minute and see how it looks.